the venture begins October 14th. We're uh, packed up and uh, ready to head for Colorado. We got this time we got Frenchie and Tom and my brother Mark. So hopefully uh, we can kill something and catch something. So we'll give her hell. Okay, Rick Campbell's kind enough to let us use his 1986 Toyota. The Booger. The Booger, we call it. Booger. Yeah, that's the name of it, the Booger. All right, nice. Got me and Tom and the, taking the Booger for a ride up the mountain. Got my Mark and Frenchie pulling my trailer up the front. Check out the view. Big canyon, Red Canyon. Driving a little 1986 Booger. Hopefully she can do it. I'm gonna have to downshift. So I gotta put the camera down. That is a long ways. No down. guardrail. <laughs> no guardrail. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. Edge. Look at that edge right there. Oh. Oh. Arrived at our camp. There's a mule. Oh, look at that! There's a mule deer right there. Awesome. Let's hope that's a good sign. First kill, Colorado. I bought a small game license, and I seen this chicken run along the road. Took him with a 22. So good eating. Good, good eating, eating right there. That would be lunch. dinner one night, hopefully. Yep. Nice big thing. That's a corner with no guardrail, yeah. and now we're down, and there's, those are all cars that did not make the corner. One, two, three. There's at least three vehicles up there that went off the ledge. First day of hunting for mule deer. I haven't seen anything yet. Looks like a storm might be coming in. We're doing a little scouting and we're coming around a corner. So uh, two bucks crossed the road. I got out of the truck, went uh, went off the road, and we seen these bucks coming across here, coming up this mountain, and I shot one. So I gotta tag this guy. Just shot it. Just found it right now. So I gotta get my tag out and, and give her a decent. Uh, not a super monster, but that's. I wasn't gonna wait around. I got fishing to do. Had a nice shot. So didn't get it on video, but that's right. I'm happy. I'll get some fishing on video. Mark's cleaning up the important meat over here by the kitchen. That's probably gonna be part of our dinner tonight. This this is Team Butcher right here. Sausage pile. <laughs> 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 Not a sausage party. <laughs> Packers won today. We shot a buck. And Life now, is good. Life, Life is, is good. Nikki and got Lions. And, and the Lions. Lions. <laughs> and the Lions won. The Lions won. The Lions won. Nikki That's right. Won today by shooting a buck. And oh, yeah. Oh, man. Venison steak. Fresh, fresh, fresh. And haters. I mean, what else can you ask for in the second day of hunting season? We're, we're doing good. Oh, yeah. We're taking some. I'm going fishing today. Got my all my gear set. Got my bike. Gonna head for a reservoir and use little black hair jigs that 
my good buddy Rick Campbell ties and they work awesome so we're gonna go give her hell see what we can do it started raining pretty good it's been raining off and on for the last two days you can't even see the mountain top it's all covered with clouds I know uh, the boys are elk hunting on the back side of that mountain so hopefully they get one but they're probably getting wet hopefully they have the rain gear with them okay uh, the rain it's not happening here at the reservoir, so I'm going to go give her a shot, try to catch some trout. This is the deep end. We'll try here first. Using a, a nice trout rod. Trout, uh, it's, it's a Fenwick 9-footer. It's real whippy, so I can, you can cast these little light jigs pretty far. Got a quantum smoke reel with 6-pound test nano fill, which you can cast a mile. My new favorite line is nano fill. Here's my, my selection of hair jigs. I got a bunch of jigs, but as you can tell, that's the main. Rick Campbell jigs, they work awesome. I like a woolly booger tied on a tied on a his homemade jig head. Trout love them. Okay, here's number three. That's on. Definitely got a. This one's a little bigger than the last one. I might keep this one. Here's a nice rainbow. I'm gonna keep him. Right now I'm. I, I have, this will be the third one I'm keeping. And I caught like six. I let a couple three go. One was a brown trout. Okay, if I keep this one, it'll be my limit. But I might just let them go and keep fishing, just to have some fun. Stop raining. It's pretty nice, so I'm thinking I'm gonna let this guy go, try to get another one. What it's like coming down the mountain. 60 miles an hour without even touching the gas. Hopefully deer doesn't run out in front of me. It'll be tough to stop. Right there. Look at that guy. Look at that. That's a nice rack. Cool. Today's Tuesday. Right now the cone's snow covered. At least I can see it. It's been storming a lot. Looks like another storm's coming through. Hopefully I can catch some fish before the storm hits. Because uh, that one looks like a doozy. 
Okay, it's calm before the storm. Got my little hair jig. I'm gonna try to catch a couple before that storm hits. So, game on. Something going. Looks like a rainbow. Pretty good one. Oh yeah, nice rainbow with colors. Wow, is that pretty? Maybe that's a brown. Oh, that's a brown. Okay, nice brown trout. Real pretty bugger. Yeah, beautiful brown. Sweet. Right before the storm. Alright, there's a really pretty brown trout. Check that guy out. I'm gonna let him go. Here's number two, a little cut bow. I am gonna keep this guy. I let that brown trout go, but I'm gonna keep keep this guy. Sweet! Haven't got wet yet. The storm's still brewing, but so far so good. Here's another brown. I am gonna keep this one just because it's still raining, but pretty late. It's not raining that hard, so I'm uh Still fishing. Just picked up a little rainbow. I'm gonna put him on the stringer. It quit raining, and I just came to a new spot. And on my second cast, nice cut bolt. All right. Sun's out. Feeling good. Got a beautiful scenery. Look at the background there. I'm gonna let this guy go. Because I don't want to get my limit yet. So I'm just catching and release right now. Yep, nice cut bow though. Switch out to uh, one of my walleye rods. This is just a lightweight quantum smoke. Um, it's only like a six, six foot three inch uh, fast action tip. And uh, this thing's kind of fun too to catch fish on. Um, yeah, this the smoke reel, matching smoke reel, and it's just a real nice rod and reel, which uh, have uh, nano fill, six pound test nano fill on here, and that's what that jig looks like in the water. Nice hopping along, looks like a bug or a crate rod at or something. Nice rainbow. Fishing a little bay here off the side of the reservoir. And it's full of these trout. So cool. I'll get him in and release him. Sweet. Here, nice look at him. Look at that little chub. Oh yeah. She's getting a little sloppy from all the rain. You get this gumbo mud, it clogs up your tires, and uh, you can get stuck 
real easy. Yesterday, Mark and the boys, they were in a steep canyon, and they got in an area that they barely got out. They had to push and and keep the keep the truck in the middle of the road by hand, so it didn't go off a cliff. So, pretty dangerous stuff. I'm in a safe spot, but for those guys yesterday, they uh, they they definitely uh, had to work at it to get out of a canyon, but they made it out. Got a good one on here. This is going to be the last one for today. I probably caught 15 fish today. Sure, fighting hard. It's a rainbow. It's doing its best to get under some rocks there. Yep, it's a nice rainbow. Look at that. That's it. That's it for today. NFN out. This is uh, one of those cut bows. Um, it has the really orange fins. It's pretty. And look at how pretty the meat is. A dark orange. It's a real. It's almost like a coho salmon color. So um, I actually have a couple here. That's the cut bow, and the, the lighter one's a rainbow. So uh, these these cut bows have really dark orange meat really pretty it's uh you know trout's really strong tasting so um what i do is i, I flay the skin off and i try to get all the dark meat on the back side off um, like when i do this fillet i'm not going to go super tight to the skin i try to leave a little bit and and then i do uh, trim any dark meat off the fillets so and that definitely helps with the uh, flavor. Um, that dark meat is really strong, so try to get rid of all that. Plus, I bleed my fish, which makes them, uh, there's no blood in the meat, and that helps with the quality also. Okay, I just uh, had to shut the camera off to fillet it, and that's that's how it turned out. I, uh, I didn't go tight to the skin. That one turned out just about perfect. There's a little dark meat right there. I might do a little extra trimming. But other than that, that one looks good. Sometimes I even take that, uh, that little ladder line out. I'll do a light cut on each side and pull it. That little strip. I do that with my salmon also. Frenchie. Oh, it's delicious. Tommy, I want your honest opinion. Unbelievable. Honest? Unbelievable. Best ever. Best ever. You're not just saying that. No, I'm not saying that. This is good shit. My brother That's cooked it. What'd you use? Good eating right here, though. We got some good eating going on. What'd you What'd you use? Just cracker crumb, little egg, and there was a uh, marimani trout. Perfect. That was delicious. We okay. that shit. I did soak those trout in milk. They smooth them out nice. Very good. Yeah. Today's Wednesday. <clears throat> Came down to the reservoir and I tried three different spots, um, deep water spots where I, I got skunked in all three. You know, nothing, nothing. You know, I, where I did have a couple bites, but but I didn't catch any. And I came back down to the shallow spot where it was on Tuesday, yesterday, um, and then popped that little hair jig across the surface really quick here because this is shallow water and wound up getting my limit like in no time. Probably oh, been here 15, 20 minutes. And I got my, my four trout. So I'm done for the day. Pretty easy. Once I found the right spot, it went bing, bing, bing. Nice. This might be it for my fishing. We're leaving, uh, we're breaking camp tomorrow, but three days in a row, three limits. Um, plus, I'm catching more than just uh, my limit. You know, uh, I'm doing catch and release also. so a lot of fun. Brother Mark shot his muley today. We're leaving tomorrow, so took care of business. Took care, took, took care of business. Here's his nice three point, six by, or you know, like a six pointer, three by that's three. Good last day buck, that's for sure. Yeah, real nice. Good job, brother. They're busy skinning it. We're gonna quarter it up and throw it in the freezer. Good trip. We're back to Nick's all the way from Colorado. We had a successful couple meal deer anyways, no elk, but hey, it was a good trip. You
got to see some elk. Frenchy got to almost shoot at an elk. Yeah. We got to see Tommy a few got elk. To see one. Got to and, see uh, them. Yep. Yeah, so. It was all worth it. Good trip. Great trip. It was.